Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence, and in this video I will be talking to you about Stalker Spirits. Now, Stalker Spirits, as the name implies, uh, are spirits that attach themselves to you, and there are two different kinds of uh, Stalker Spirits. They could also be called Spiritual Attachments. Uh, there are Human Spirits, and then there are Demonic Spirits. Both have different reasons for attaching themselves to you, and um, while both uh, may have similar effects, there are different ways to get rid of them. So I'm going to begin by uh, saying, where do you pick up spiritual attachments? Well, there are a few different ways to pick up spiritual attachments, one of which... Like, the most common way that I know is ghost hunting. Now, we have been, as humans, interested in the paranormal for a long time. The sense of adventure and mystery and intrigue, it's all there. Uh, I used to go ghost hunting with my family, and this was when I was a little tyke. And it was fun. It was a fun little thing we did. But it can also be dangerous if you don't take the necessary precautions. And I do intend on making a video on the proper precautions to take when ghost hunting so that you don't pick up spiritual attachments like this and so on. Another way is uh, either your house is haunted and the particular spirit haunting your house has attached itself to you. Or maybe you've gone to a family or friend's house who has a spirit who has attached itself to you. And a third way is by messing around with things like Ouija boards or dowsing rods or any kind of channeling devices without, you know, proper knowledge. A lot of people think it's just a game until it isn't anymore. Um... I'm going to talk first about the human kind. What to expect. Well, you may not even know you have an attachment until things start happening. But uh, while things will be happening around you, they'll also happen with you. And two things that can happen are spiritual oppression, which is the beginning stages of spiritual possession and the spirit will try and break down your aura so that they can take over your body to live again human spirits it must be so frustrating in the spirit world when you can't properly speak to people you cannot speak verbally to people you have to gain up energy in order to to have people acknowledge you because most people cannot see you. Most people cannot hear you. So it must be terribly frustrating for spirits. Um, and, you know, the, their ability to communicate is hindered in the normal ways that a human would speak. So um, one of the reasons why they would attach themselves to you is to, to live again. To actually have... A normal body again whether they have to take one or not another reason why they might attach themselves to you wouldn't be necessarily to possess you but to call for help um, back to the communication thing they cannot properly tell you hey I need help crossing over I'm tired of being stuck in limbo I need help so they might attach themselves to you because they're asking for help and they're not going to let go until you help them. Another thing, some spirits might cling to you because you remind them of someone they used to know. Maybe someone they cared for deeply or maybe someone they didn't care for at all. And they may be trying to connect with you because maybe they think you're that person or try and make your life miserable because they think they're you're that person that they don't like. Uh, how to get rid of a human spiritual attachment? Prayer. Uh, cleansing with uh, 
Moon water, which is moon, which is water that has been left under the full moon, is charged by the full moon. Uh, blessed sage or incense and in cleansing your entire body. Uh, meditation, all which can raise your vibrations and keep them off of you, because that's the one thing that low vibrational spirits cannot stand. It's high vibrations, because these high vibrations resist their low vibrations and keep them off of you, kind of like bug spray with bugs. Um, another thing is keeping your spiritual health healthy. Like, a meditation does help. Prayer does help. Um, eating a balanced meal and getting proper exercise keeps your body in shape, keeps your mental health in state, also keeps your spiritual health in state. Come here, baby. Guys, this is the cat. This is Mr. Bigglesworth. Hi. Say hi, Biggles. <laughs> he misses his mama. But anyway, um, so keeping your own self in check can help prevent them from attaching themselves to you. Uh, pr uh, you know what? Having a, a blessing over you definitely helps. And also, trying to see if you can't help them cross over or get in touch with someone who can help you help them cross over. But normally, uh, when a spirit attaches itself to you, it's not a good thing. Even if the spirit doesn't actually intend too many bad things for you, it can still do a number on your on your spiritual health, on your mental health, and that in turn can affect your physical health and so on. Because they're trying to send a message, and oftentimes that message will be abrupt, and it might keep you up at night. Now, demonic spirits, on the other hand, are entirely different. Their purpose in life is to take over human souls, to gain power, to remove light from this word, from this world, from people. <clears throat> See, demons are naturally weak because of their low vibrations. So they need to break down your aura and break you down and suck the negative energy from you in order to gain power to take over. So, when you have a demonic attachment, that is a little bit more tough than a human spirit because of the power they've most likely soaked up by the time that you realize that you have a pos like a, a demonic attachment. In that case, if uh, a proper um, blessing and cleansing of not only yourself but the property you live on does not work, then you might need to reach out to... Uh, more professional spiritual people, maybe like a priest or perhaps a demonologist. Um, a ghost hunting groups often have connections to those kinds of people, and uh, they will not charge you anything. Legitimate ghost hunting groups will not charge you anything, and I'm going to repeat this because there's a lot of scams out there. But um, if you seek out those people to help you with uh, spiritual attachments, um, whether it is a human or demonic uh, situation, they usually have the abilities to help you. If not, then they know people who can. But when it comes to a demonic spirit, it's very, very touchy. Things can go wrong so fast because if you fail... In your own attempts to get rid of them, it could just piss them off and make things worse. For not only for yourself, but anyone you live with, your family, your friends will all be fair game. It will do anything. It will hurt anyone just to get to you. So it's if you have a demonic attachment, then normally that is when it is time to call a professional in. Because what these demons are trying to do is break you down and possess you and ruin your life. And then when you die, they are trying to enslave your soul so that they can continue gaining power. They would enslave the entire human race if they could because uh, then they'd have a army of souls at their disposal because they're too weak to do anything. They need us, our spirits, to do stuff. So... The one point is don't let them. Keep your energy high. 
Try to avoid situations where you could be bringing in a demonic entity. If it is something to where it has been in your house and uh, no matter how many times you move, you can't get rid of it. Because that's the thing. A lot of people think, oh, there's a demon in my house. <clears throat> I'm just going to move houses. Well, it doesn't always work like that. Sometimes the demon stays behind. But normally the case is it will follow you because it doesn't want the house. It doesn't need your house. It needs you. So don't think that that is a, a fix-it solution because oft, more often than not, it don't work. So, like I said, for human spirits, usually basic cleansing and keeping your energy high and blessings and prayers, saging um, and high vibrational stuff can help keep human spirits off you, while demonic entities, you may need to resort to professional help. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And stay safe, everyone.